This is the first prototype for Marble Machine 3 and today we're going to test if this can play tight music. This part is simulating the programming wheel and nothing happens until we pull the muting lever, the hooks engages and a marble is going to be dropped. There. Muted. Playing. I already tested the marble gate and that has perfect timing, but all these new parts haven't been tested for timing. So what I've done today is that I've added the Arduino and the solenoid to test the timing of all these new parts. So instead of triggering the mechanical movement with this profile, I'm going to turn on the Arduino. The Arduino is coded to engage the solenoid for 800 milliseconds and then release the solenoid for 3200 milliseconds. So that way we have a perfect four seconds between marble drops. The marbles are dropped from here to the table surface. And down here I have a contact microphone recording the hit. The contact microphone goes to its own preamp and then it gets connected to my audio interface and the signal is recorded on my computer. Here you can see the peaks from every marble hitting the table. To see if this prototype can play tight music, I'm recording 100 marble drops in a row and then we can analyze the resulting audio file in the computer to see if the mechanism is tight or not. We're inside Logic Pro and this is the section with our data, cutting the first transient exactly where it's starting. The first transient is now starting exactly on the first bar of the sequencer. So now we're gonna find out what tempo the Arduino have. So let's go to one of the last transients over here and then we're going to adjust the tempo until these two lines add up. When I'm pulling the tempo back and forth, you can see how the transients are dancing around left and right. And I wanna align this transient exactly with this bar here. So let's go even closer, sample level. 120.0482 is the Arduino tempo. It's kind of mega tight. <laughs> When you hear the marble against the metronome, you hear it's tight. It's really absolutely tight. So how are we going to measure this, you wonder? A great question. The green bar is representing a single millisecond. As long as our transient is within the green bars, we are fine. So this is my old spreadsheet with all the data from the experiments of the marble gates. I collected a huge number of data here and there's reality. <laughs> if you know, you know. I'm going to leave everything that is green at zero and then just note down everything that happens to be in the red. So it's all green, it's green, almost red. I'm gonna give that a pass. Green is good, green is very good. Okay, let's be harsh on this one. That's our first uh, red. We're gonna put a uh, one millisecond delay on that one. That's in the green. <laughs> green, uh, red. So let's do another one millisecond. Green, green, green is good. Okay, so we have our standard deviation is 0.37 milliseconds, which is worse than our previous perfect zero. So we have the stairway to heaven from previously, and then we have the perfect middle finger, which is still tight, but, but less tight. So why do we have this difference? I do think it might be about the force of the solenoid. Let me show you on the prototype. This solenoid is actually a little bit underpowered because I had to remove one of the springs here to make the solenoid actually be able to open the gate. There's a second spring here that I've disengaged and I'm going to re-engage it. 
All of a sudden it did great. So okay, I'm gonna rerun the test with both springs engaged because both springs makes this open faster and more precisely. So let's record 100 new hits. By the way, I start to actually really like wearing this t-shirt again. Right after the failure of Marble Machine X, I couldn't kind of wear it. I was too sad. But now when I'm getting somewhere with Marble Machine 3, it feels kind of nice again. Anyway, let's see how the prototype did with tension springs. Perfection. That's good. That is really promising start here. Every flash is a new marble. Ooh, this looks amazing. So far in the green around the line. I'm gonna click faster. Wow. This made a huge difference, it seems like. Of course, with the two springs, the opening, the release of the marble is more distinct. And that's the whole reason we did the opposite way around that when the programming wheel is releasing the mechanism, that's when we drop the marble. The Camargo paradigm, as we call it in the marble machine business. Oh my god, this looks amazingly tight. Look how many that are spot on onto the middle line. Like, look at that segment. It was like 10 in a row. This is atomic level precision. <laughs> okay, I'm very, really relieved to see this. We are back, I think. I'm gonna just cycle through the whole test. So that's really awesome. We're back at zero millisecond standard deviation. I think it speaks volumes for the prototype that actually the way it was intended, a little bit more spring force just made it uh, perform even better. I'm really relieved. This successful test have verified the prototype and it's a beginning of a new chapter in the Marble Machine 3 journey. We can tick a major tick box. Hooray, programming cylinder design. But more hooray is where we're going now. So, <laughs> Wilson is heading to chapter three, power input. This next chapter is going to be really fun. And I think it's going to be fun for you because I'm gonna build a physical prototype already in this chapter. It will be so fun to drive the new marble gate with a big flywheel and with a pedal and just play that to a metronome and see how tight I can make it. Perhaps I make like six channels, so maybe we can play a drum groove. So then we're going to be back actually playing drums with marbles in the Marble Machine 3 project within hopefully a short amount of time. Whatever a short amount of time is in my world. Martin time is on another dimension, okay? <laughs> Here's another thing I'm super excited about. All Vintergatan music have been officially released with Tracklib, our dear friends from Stockholm. Tracklib is a super cool service that allows music producer sample official music and make official remixes. So now you can sample all Vintergatan songs, make your own remixes officially with all the paperwork just dealt with automatically by Tracklib. Check out tracklib.com to sample Wintergatan music officially. And this is not sponsored, we're just collaborating. Shout out to my friends at Tracklib and go make some awesome remixes.